cut out your your butthole, right? Mm -hmm. And they sewed it up. Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> and then now you have a colostomy bag. And I remember you were kind of bummed about it, of course. And I said, Dad, you're... I like the word, bummed about it. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> yeah. so, 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 so I was trying to cheer you up. And I said, Dad, you're at that age. You're probably going to be shitting your pants anyway. So, <laughs> so like, at least you'll know it'll be right there in the bag. <laughs> and you looked at me like, yeah, you might be right, son. But yeah, then there are, well, there's always an upside. But then, but then, then, uh, then the guy says, "Okay, well, look, they're taking a look at you, and they're looking at the stitching." He says, "Oh yeah, okay, we got a little problem here," and they said, "Okay, um, okay, Paris, you're gonna have to take uh, <laughs> take some gauze here and stick it in this hole, <laughs> and then change it every every day about two or three times a day." And I'm like, "Oh man." <laughs> I had a, I, but, but he said something first. And you know what? He, he, he said, he, he said Paris, you're number one son, yeah, aren't you? Yeah. He, Come here. You, you know, now have a job. You know, you know, you know what he said, too? He, <coughs> I think he looked at my mom and was like, okay, forget about her. Okay, Paris. <laughs> she wasn't there. Yeah, she she didn't want anything to do with oh, her. No. Like, yeah, she's yeah. like, you're on your own. She didn't want me to drop me off at the hospital. I know. I know she was in denial. Did She's not still in want denial. to go near that. Place. But I, but I had to do that, man. And then you, you I wouldn't even touch you. You go, oh, 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 oh. Now you got a little cure. <laughs> yeah. You'd be like, well, it's all. And it wasn't even touching you. But we made it through. We made it through. That was a rough time, man. But you did it. You toughed it out. Yeah. And I remember. Uh, when you first got cancer, all these fucking hippies out there were trying to say, hey, don't do what the doctor tells you, man. Like, just just fucking take that oil, dude, and just, you don't, do, and then go to this guy and then take a healer. And I was like, I, I said, Dad, don't listen to these fucking people. <laughs> They're going to fucking get you killed because the one cancer doctor, he was very convincing. He says, he says, you know, you know, all those people, all those famous people that went and did alternative medicine. Yeah. What do you say about them? Gone. They're dead. They're dead. Gone. Farrah <laughs> Fawcett, all of them. Yeah, and then you, you were like, okay, yeah, that, that makes sense. Dennis Hopper. It was all of them. Yeah. yeah. Even even uh, Bob Marley. Yeah. You know, he had yeah. it in his toe. Yeah. And he didn't want to get his toe amputated. Yeah. All right, well, let's cheer, Black <laughs> cheer up. Black holes might be giant structures made out of space.